Hey, Nat Express here with five new match announcements for I Good Day Emergent. So first up, Doctor Strange has an open challenge going again. So it's intriguing to see who's gonna answer that. And also they debut of Project Altitude, Aaron Peters and Eric Crawford. Also Trevor Phillips and Scott Lang are gonna go head to head after Trevor hit him with the chair for no reason, except he's Trevor Phillips. So that's pretty interesting. And a match may just be there, I guess. Uh, Deadpool and Terry Jones are going to go head to head because I don't know. Uh, and just announced Bruno149 is going to take on Wade Fenwick. All that and more at IWA Emerging. And welcome back to the IWA. And out comes Kevin Riley. He was going to confront Tony Miles. But uh, he was attacked by Antonio Rivera with the steel chair. Yeah, that sounds about right. I know, I saw it with my own two eyes. But Kevin Riley is here nonetheless. And he's looking to get some speaking time in. We don't know how long or how short it will be. But let me tell you how this all started. Tommy Miles attacked Kevin Riley after the match at Inception. Kevin Riley not only has a rematch clause, but also... I think he feels that uh, Tommy got personal when he attacked him after the match. And then Antonio Rivera whacked him with the chair. And there's very big speculation that Tommy Miles sent Antonio Rivera to do that. A setup by the main event hit, man. Kevin climbing on the turnbuckle looking to do a signature bond. And now uh, here we are. Kevin requested some speaking time as I've stated before. Uh... And yeah, I don't really have much to say about the current situation besides Miles and Riley are fighting again at Emergence. So this is going to be a very... That match is going to be a uh, probably one of the best matches because Inception is a uh, match of the year... Well, their match at Inception is a uh, CWF Year End Awards Match of the Year nominee. And that's surely interesting. I'm impressed at how IWA has grown with all the talent, how Kevin Riley and Tommy Miles have grown, not just here, but everywhere. And now, we are just going to have to see what Kevin Riley, the man, has to say. There is no explanation for this. So I'll make this simple. I am not leaving this ring until I get Tommy Miles. For the past couple episodes, I have yet to get my hands on Tommy after his actions at Inception. So come on out, Miles. Kevin Riley absolutely looking to make a statement against Tommy Miles. And wait a minute. There's Antonio Rivera. He attacked Kevin Riley in episode 7. But wait, Kevin fighting back. Punch, 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 clothesline. Kevin Riley has stuck it to Antonio Rivera. And wait, oh, wait a second. That's V. Is that Vito Lombardi? He's attacking Kevin Riley and Antonio Rivera. Looking to make the. I don't know, even know what's going on here. I don't know if it's a swerve or not. And oh, go figure. It was all a setup from the get go. Goodness me. IWA Emergence. I will be the new King of Kings, and continue to attempt to make the subscribers proud. King Suzuki, at IWA Emergence, you will meet my shovel, and I'll be your new IWA subscribers champion. Ugh. And with that being said, King Suzuki and Triple H will be fighting in no holds barred match at IWA Emergence for the IWA subscribers championship. It's sure to be brutal. And with that being said, Suzuki and Triple H will fight no holds barred. But now, it's our first face-off of the evening. The IWA general manager, William Malone and Grant Roman are going to go face-to-face -face before their match at Emergence. This has kind of gotten really personal really quick. And Malone out there with the, you know, I don't know if that's purple or blue. I just say it's a mixture of both, like aqua or something. You know, I really like that suit, William. Tell me where you, tell me where you got that. Tell me where you got that. <clears throat> but uh, Malone is probably going to unleash some hard facts on Grant Bowman, judging that he already did that last week. Or at least made a very good try. 
But yeah, Malone's known as the, he's your current Call Worldwide Champion, and we're fighting in Mexico pretty soon. Call Worldwide Championship match. Uh, that's going to be, as uh, Noah calls it, a banger. I'm sure of it. I think it's a... Uh, no dis no holds barred or something. Extreme rules. Uh, yeah, that's sure to be brutal. But Liam alone is now gonna sit there and wait the arrival of Samoa Joe. I mean, uh, Grant Bowman. Grant Bowman has claimed that he kicked the door down. I mean, he can think that, but he's really never had a match here. He's never really won any of his matches here. Hasn't even had a debut yet. But I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we'll get to hear why he even thinks he kicked the door down. As you can see from that social media hashtag, Brent's not gonna let up on that fact, which really sucks because. I don't know if you really kicked the door down or not, Grant. I gotta. I really doubt that. I really doubt that. Uh, Grant is here. Me trying to go face to face with Liam Malone. Yeah, I had the yawn. I just woke up. New Year's Eve. New day. I apologize that I wasn't out here last week because I was busy training and preparing for this exact matchup. Which makes me wonder what you've done in all this time. Do you know what you're walking into, Malone? This is my debut match, my time to shine. And if I have to let everyone know it, I'll show them why they should know it. So do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna beat you so bad to a bloody pulp that you won't just be listening to a certain ski mask. You're gonna have to be wearing one because I'll make it known. I'll make sure they will be so embarrassed just to show your face, Malone. So prepare, cause at emergence, you'll never walk out the same again. I'm the alpha male, and I'll prove that emergence. Maybe feast on Golan Corral, like I'm gonna feast on you. Yeah, Grant, I just spotted a rookie mistake in your statement. You see, if I lose, I'm not gonna wear a ski mask and hide my face. And wow, Grant, you just said something stupid too. Wow, great way to start out your career. Cause I don't think referencing a rapper would uh, in the words of Nate, make you look very strong. And Grant who apparently tried getting on to people about comparisons to Samoa Joe. I mean, in all honesty, I wouldn't even put you on his level. Okay Grant, uh, here's your first promo lesson. One, don't mention the restaurant when you go to insult your opponent because then <laughs> I just can't take you seriously. Two, there's a certain definition of kicking the door down and attacking an authority figure who did nothing to you isn't that way. Let me make a list of how I kicked the door down. First off, I'm already in the second to last match at Emergence against you. Also, I've got a lot more buzz than you have gotten this season. I work better than Ascaria Industries and I'm more active than all of your channels. Do you hear me, Malone? I'm gonna slaughter you. And you're just gonna have to deal with it. I mean, we're just gonna have to see if you can uh, back up your words at Emergence. Cause at Emergence, you know what I'm gonna do, Grant? You know what happens when you mess with Liam Malone? He sends you back to the bingo halls. Oh, here we go. Liam Malone, same old, same old, never changes at all. Well, one thing's gonna change. You will not be running around on IWA TV as an authority figure fighting other superstars when I'm done. Because we need to insert new blood into the product. And I'd be happy to be the leader of this revolution. But, however, this is not one of those storylines, Malone. This is Malone versus Bowman. One of the most personal rivalries of all time. I'm just trying to simply break out and call and you're just another barrier. I am a barrier. And at Emergence, I'm gonna bury you, send you back to the freaking bingo halls, and get you to stop feeding off my relevancy. Because, Grant, without my name attached to you, where would you be? You're absolutely pathetic. Everything that comes out of your mouth is hard to believe, because you haven't proven anything to me yet. You still have a lot to prove. 
So if you think you're going to be a breakout star of the year, all you have to do is simply prove it at emergence. When all is said and done alone, trust me, one person is going to emerge victorious and the others will just walk home with the bitter taste in their mouth. See you at emergence, Malone. That was a pretty heated war of words. And uh, now it's time for our final face-off of the evening. Loki and Black Panther go face-to-face -face before their main event match at emergence. Gotta, make, gotta build out that main event. Yup, the main event uh, gets the last segment of the night. Surprise, surprise. And there is the newly designed IWA World Heavyweight Championship. Designed by Liam Malone. Uh, he makes a lot of good stuff. I'm not going to tell anyone his gamer tag. Due to uh, privacy concerns. But, yeah, he's pretty good at the belts he makes. Mine are... Mm, I feel like the tag titles are decent. But, uh, Loki walking down. At Inception, he won the IWA Championship. Fatal four way pending Deadpool. Who, uh. Mm, sorry, he pinned Deadpool. Who will be fighting Derek Jones at Emergence after a backstage segment earlier in this part. But let me explain to you how this happened. Black Panther and Thor both wanted a championship shot. Black Panther beat Thor to earn, to earn his title shot in the main event of the IWA Episode 6, I think. Black Panther had words in Episode 7 basically saying that he's coming for his championship. But, uh, hmm, yeah. And now here we are. Loki and Black Panther go face to face one last time before the main event of Emergence. And Panther obviously sli sliding into the ring. Pretty happy to be here like he always is every time he enters. But yeah, let's see what these two gotta say. Alright, feline, listen closely. This will be the result of the Emergence. You're going to have to enter Wakanda with no title and no championship. And I, Loki, God of Mischief, will continue my reign with the IWA Championship. As Paul Heyman says, it's not just a prediction, it's a spoiler. Once again, you underestimate the power of the Black Panther. The same mistake your brother made. The only difference is that Thor fights with honor and pride. You, on the other hand, are a loudmouthed child whose immaturity precedes him. Me, Loki, a loudmouthed child? Hmm, let's see my track record, because I got the mouth to prove it. I said I was going to make my way to the IWA Championship at Inception, and I did just that. You, on the other hand, yikes. Let's see your track record. You lost to a YouTuber, lost to The Order, and had a long, drawn-out reign as GAW Champion. No one remembers that reign anyways. As for my reign, I'm on click review poster after click review poster, and I'm the future face of this company. You are not. There you go again. Worried only about the glamour that comes with your accolades. What is worse is that you truly believe that you are a champion that people can be proud of. A champion that people admire. You are nothing short of a snake in the grass or a wolf in sheep's clothing. I will not only expose you for the faulty champion that you are, but I will also relieve you of your IWA championship and bring it home to Wakanda. No, no, no. BP, you got it twisted. I'll send you back to Wakanda with no championship. Now, Wakanda looks nice. Very nice view. Very scenic. But you should have took a trip to what was Asgard to see how a true kingdom is. We have plenty of time until emergence. Why wait? Oh my god, Panther got the jump on him! Panther got the jump on him! He's attacking Loki! He's attacking Loki! And Loki is just looking on in disbelief. The Black Panther on a roll here, looking to send a message. Clothesline, clothesline, sling blade. And the Panther, this could be what we see at Emergence. 
looking to nail the same move that put away Thor. His signature move. And then, uh, what's he going to go for next? He's got. Uh, he's going up top. He's going for the killing blow. The killing blow. Is it going to connect? Is it going to connect? Uh, killing blow. The Black Panther just laid out R.I.W.A. champion. Look at the momentum Black Panther has going into emergence. Aye, 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 aye. And now, we only have one question. Is Loki ready to handle the power of the Black Panther after what just happened? Black Panther called him with his element of surprise. Landed the killing bro blow. Why did I say that? This is Nate Express signing off. We have a couple more Road to Emergence videos coming out. As for me and myself, I'll see you at IWA Emergence. Don't you know in your gut that